Hello everyone and welcome back to Subnautica. Now today we are oh game. Uh, oh, I thought the game froze. The hatch was just stuck on me. Lovely. Uh, I thought. Okay. Um, I that's not how that's supposed to work. I don't think. But all right. Okay, you're fully charged. Good, good, good. So today we're gonna try and go to the Lost River. I realized I left my things in here. Hold on. I left my purple artifacts in here. Oh, and I left that in there too, okay. Uh, I'll probably get Ion Cube, so. All right. So let's get, where'd my prawn suit? Right here, all right. Nope. Okay, so we need to find the Lost River entrance. I hate those things. And we're gonna try and go th to the different facilities. You, yeah, go away. Go frick right off. Um. Okay, come on. Come on. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Alright, where is... I know I have to be on the ground here. I just don't know where exactly to go. Ah, god dang it. I hate these stupid things. Oh, I love them, but I also hate them. Okay, there's the warper. Alright, should be fine. Get out of my way. Alright. Um. I don't know exactly which direction to head. I know there's an entrance, I just need to find it. Lost River, where are you? Going deeper, I'd say that's a good sign. Right? Ooh, yeah. There's like green uh, little thingy here. That's good. Oh, I t it's totally through here. Yeah, there's a bunch of green like puddles. Yep, this way. All right. Awesome. Okay, now that I found the lost river. Um, let me get out. And you guys sound freaky. Let me place a beacon right here. Nope. Ugh. Rename. Yeah, add a beacon name. Uh, Lost River Entrance. Awesome. Now it should. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we're here to find nickel ore to find the at least the disease research facility and Yeah I don't actually know what nickel ore looks like too much Watch this is it right here. Oh Okay <laughs> Yeah, well th there it is. Okay. Good. Good job Finn. Alright, well, I'll have to be on the lookout for that stuff, because I'm going to need a bit of it. Um, well, frick, if I knew that's it was that easy to get, I would have got it last time. That way I could... That way I could, you know, speed up this process of getting what I need. Okay, come on. Don't get yourself stuck, you gobshite. Okay, whatever. I'll just press forward. Come on, get up. Alright. Um. Think this way? Yeah, just following this line of river should be a good idea. Okay, I need to recharge. And up you go. 
Okay, this looks good and bad. I need to stay away from that guy. He is terrifying. Okay. Think, Finn, think. How can you go about this? If I stand with this, it might help me a little. Yeah, if I go through like this little K, oh boy. So I kind of want to get out and scan that. Oh, I need this. Alright. And sure, I'll take a gel sack. Um. Oh, I have all that there, huh? Okay. Well, let's put all you in there. Nothing else around? No, okay. I want to get out and scan that thing, but... I'll save that for another time. Uh-oh. Just, just, just keep a low profile. Keep a low profile. Come on. You got this, Finn. That sounds really bad. That sounds bad. I'm scared. That is genuinely terrifying. Okay. Whew, just stay down here. For as long as you can. Okay. Those guys, they don't look terrifying, but they sound horrendous. Holy crap. And by horrendous, it, like, it, I mean... In the good way. Okay, he's over there. I should be okay. I should be safe. I sure hope I do. <laughs> Looks like we're in the clear from that guy. But I still need to... You know, keep an eye out. Um... I didn't go in a circle, did I? Uh, it's entirely possible I did. Knowing me, I totally did, because I am famous for going in circles. I think that's him in the distance, yeah. Okay. I think if I go this way, I should be alright. Emphasis on should be. What the heck is that? What? Eh? Okay, yeah, but what it... You know what? I'm not gonna question it. Oh, there's some nickel. Okay, hold on. Eh. Alright. Get in le pronto. Okay, come on. Get over the tiny little ledges. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna try to scan this thing. I don't know how, if I have to go to the head or not, but I'm hoping I can just scan it from here. Please. Nope. Okay, well... I'm not gonna tempt fate, so let's, let's get the heck out of Dodge. And just, uh, thank you, um, this way, onward. I think I'm going in the right direction. If I go down here, maybe? I think that's progress. I'm not quite sure. I know I need to take a right somewhere. And once I get over here, ah, yes, I'm going in the right direction, okay. Yep, all right. So I'll get out and scan this thing, and then I'll go over there. I realize how low I'm getting, so I need to be careful of that. Leviathan Skeletal Remains. Okay, uh, let me read it in here so I don't lose my air. The semi-intact skeletal structure of Leviathan-class predator. Head trauma. There is clear evidence of mass massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe, it was likely the cause of death, and must have occurred somewhere nearby. Damage is consistent with a high-speed collision. Damage is consistent with a high... Yeah, I was reading it right. With a solid object. Age. 
Something in the environment has helped preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Intriguing. Oh, you got big fingers. Okay, so I should be heading in that little crevice, I think, over here. Uh, at least I'm pretty sure. This is where I'm supposed to go. Yeah, because I came from there. These things lead this way. So... Logic would suggest it's right here. If it'll load in. I see parts of it. Yeah, there it is. I need to be careful, though, because I'm pretty sure warpers are going to be guarding this thing pretty this heavily. To have collapsed to the sea floor. You think? Ah, uh, speak of the devil. Hey, buddy, could you, like, screw off? That'd be nice. <laughs> Jai, jeez. Okay. Okay, don't get stuck. analysis reads, caution. Hazardous materials and life forms contained within. And that, a uh, caution like that is more like saying, hey Finn, walk in here. Interesting stuff. Okay, the entrance is right there. So I need to chill right here. Bring up, get my speed back, or boost back, whatever. And get in. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Okay, come on, get around it. Okay. Alrighty, um, let me get out. Grab the ion cube. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Clearly. All right, data. Specimen research data. New PDA data. A catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. Small herbivore gamma. Uh, this entry seems to reference the common peeper. Shows no immunity to infection. Death commonly occurs within four days. Shows symptoms remission on exposure to enzyme 42, but symptoms quickly recur. recur. Uh, shows advanced learning behaviors, shows some capacity to transmit enzymes to other specimens. Leviathan embryos, adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting site. Embryos show no signs of immunity, death commonly occurs within three weeks. A uh, small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high priority research on Leviathan hatching specimens. Large carnivore theta, offsite established to re study remains. So some potential immunity for, and so some potential immunity to infection, but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction. Unidentified leviathan. This leviathan species has been assigned designator C emperor bone samples from SP emperor specimens indicate some potential for Kara immunity. Single specimen captured for study at uh, purpose-built containment facility. Constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. Assessment. While it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, it may be possible to further acquire or to acquire further data there on the alien attempts to develop vaccine. Okay, that was a mouthful to read. Or are these like lumps growing everywhere? Oh, why can't I scan these ones? But not those ones, alright. Ambioid, a simple, non-sentient organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. It feeds on this matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to create two new genetically identical offspring in the subcutaneous. Cool. Um, so any other... Okay, I guess further would be that way. So let me get in here. Jump. Hop. And skip. And away we go. Okay. Down here, egg. Sea dragon egg. This large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized. Without the means at the facility that has a fully grown sea dragon specimen, it's possible the aliens sought to study 
Instead, the egg laying and incubation process. To what end is unclear. Yeah. Uh, ribcage. Display case containing an array of rib cages harvested from the indigenous life forms. There's particular focus in the instance on vertebrae skeletal structures. While some of those uh, these skeleton match organisms encountered on the planet so far, most cannot be matched with confidence, suggesting either that species are not yet accounted for, or that they've become extinct since these samples were collected. And probably extinct. Ray specimens. Yeah, okay, these are all common ones. Or not common ones, alive ones. Uh, okay, I'll go there next. Let me take a quick tip in here. Also, picking me a water. Vital signs stabilizing. Yeah, I hope so. Um, okay. Let me collapse these. Um, just like this collapse to the seafloor. Ray specimens on 4546B. Different specimens, or different species of ray... Uh, indigenous to 4546B, each adapted to different environments. These species are 9.99% genetically identical to those encountered on the planet today, suggesting that rapes in particular have undergone little evolutionary mutation in the past millennium. Ghost rays, jelly rays, crimson rays, and rabbit rays likely all share a common evolutionary ancestor. The alpha ray would have evolved deep in the ocean trenches, quickly growing in the line with available food supplies, it would have most resembled the ghost ray in size and appearance, with translucent skin for camouflage and forward-mounted eyes for hunting, a fast and fearsome stalker of small creatures in the dark. While some rays have stayed within the limits of the cave systems where they first evolved, others are relatively more recent adaptations to new environments, like the results of overpopulation. All the rays in 4546B uh, have given up on predation in favor of herbivorous scavenging and using and use poisonous flesh to protect themselves. Interesting. Cool. Alrighty. Now time to move on from the museum and damage report. Leviathan. PDA data. Thank you, Betty. Leviathan detected a facility perimeter closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Exterior anchor system buckling. Facility sinking. Collision with the. Collision with seafloor. Breaches detected in containment uh, unit 7 leviathan eggs. Immediate specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed, one specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Warning infected individuals may not leave the planet. And this is what set the whole quarantine in motion and why the enforcement platform exists and the planet's a quarantine zone. And also, that sea dragon you saw outside that I scanned. That thing, it said, you know, it said it had head trauma from a high-speed collision. Yeah, it, com it collisioned with this thing to get its egg, uh, the eggs back. Oh, missed nine cube to get that egg back. It wanted it back, so. Put in two and two together. All right, let me scan this thing, this big boy. Although, compared to that skeleton outside that we saw, not the sea dragon, what the big one that the ghost leviathan was around. Uh, kind of tiny. Uh, okay. Indigenous life forms, fauna, disease. The skeletal remains of a vast predator housed within an artificial habitat. The environment constructed to house the specimen suggests it was kept alive and containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat was unsupported with extensive plant life, though it has since decayed. When the facility collapsed, the specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. While it shares some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark, including its distinctive double eye sockets. This fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms, rarely seen in aquatic species. The species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years and its evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition. I wonder what the evolutionary relatives are. Yeah, it has a double eye sockets and the weird forearms. Oh my god, you are just so annoying. Gallery and decorated. Dehydration detected. Running out of oxygen. Shut up. Thank you. You're so annoying. Okay. Biological matter. Warper parts. Yeah, I've... This is so cool looking. 
But yeah, as you can see, these are the different, like, pieces of the warper, because, you know, they're genetically, like, created. Those parts, like, thrown over. But yeah, it's so cool. Like, the warpers are awesome. I love them. I mean, they're terrifying, they're annoying as hell, but they're awesome. Anyways, warper parts. The organic parts on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms, largely originating off-world. They are in varying states of augmentation with it. Advanced technologies. This production line. Thirty seconds. <sighs> you are. Thanks for telling me, but good God, you are a pain in the rectal cavity. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you, prawn suit. That I haven't named because I forgot. Um. Okay. You're getting. Uh, da, 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 da. This production line setup suggests these self-warping con constructs were built, maintained, and developed by the aliens that designed this facility. Lovely. Alright. And let's get over back here. Down here. And oh. Hold on. Data pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded. Caution. Detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that later. Um, this terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion identified as Kara, uh, which is the disease that's, like, killing off everything on the planet. Um, discovery first encountered during some routine network expansion on outer worlds. Pandemic development. Network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths. 143 billion individuals. Uh, that's a lot. Uh, bacterial mechanisms attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Stage 1, gradual immune system failure. Stage 2, green skin lesions and flu-like symptoms, as we can see on the other creatures. Stage 3, unpredictable alterations to biological, biological structure. And stage 4, complete shutdown of executive function. A.K.A. you die. Uh, emergency steps taken. Core worlds quarantine. Bacterial samples distributed to isolate disease or facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure unknown. They were never able to get the vaccine. And that's our job. Uh, okay, let's scan this guy. Okay, what bug? Self-warping quarantine enforcer unit. This life form shows heavy or so signs of heavy genetic modification, extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive uh, and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery and receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Enterprise phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented with advanced processing power and remote communications. Assessment. Programmable hunter-killer. Avoid. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I definitely will do everything in my power to avoid these guys. They're cool. They're not cool enough for me to just say, Oh yeah, you can buy- by the way, guys, you can like slaughter me by just warping me instantly to my death. Um, okay. You know, I gotta wonder. Their- their little warp thing they do. It hurts. How? And second, I'm pretty sure they can warp other creatures. Does it hurt them too, or just me? Yeah, I don't want it. Yeah, those guys, they can screw off. Okay. I am going back this way. Nope, that didn't reach. Ah, great. I'm going right in their trap. Okay. I'm gonna have to land. I could try to attack the warper. I think he was. Come on. Okay, I have nothing to land on, so I just gotta run. Gotta go. Flee. Okay. I think I'm okay for the most part. Gotta just leave. I was hoping I could maybe get some kyanite, but I guess not. Maybe I can sneak some. I don't know. We'll see. If I can't drill it, then... Because I know I can't go past the, um... 
I don't know what that area is called, but like the, the big blue tree, which will probably be coming up on in a second. I know I can't get past that area. It's too deep. Yeah, this area right here. I know I can't really go there. So I might just have to get as close as I can without screwing over my prawn suit. I know I can't make that drop there, so... Um... Yeah, okay. I'll have to get out. And then... Make a break for the lava zone. Hopefully find some kyanite that's I don't have to drill. And then flee. <laughs> Oh, lord. Uh, on the way back I might scan that, but I don't know. Alright. Let's... I should have enough air to do this, and I have the reinforced dive suit, so I should be okay temperature-wise. Uh, the only thing I might be worried about is my sea glide, but I can always just take the... repair tool... uh, battery and just trade it. Okay. Come on, I need some kyanite. I don't know how much I need, but I'll grab as much as I can. Uh, God, I feel so slow right now. This is really dangerous, by the way. I do not recommend doing this. I'm only doing it because I'm desperate. Okay, yeah, it's down here. Come on, Finn. You can do it. Okay, kyanite, 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 kyanite. Where's kyanite? Kyanite, where are you? Please exist. Okay, once I go below half, I'm gonna have to head right back. And I'm basically at that point, so... I'm... Okay, I'm gonna have to head back. God dang it. Mission failed, we'll get them next time. I was really hoping I didn't have to do this, but... It's... it's not possible to... You know... It's not possible to get Kyanite... Without... Bringing my prawn suit down here, which I can't, so I'll have to come back. Okay, well... Still a successful episode. We went to the disease research re, disease research containment facility. So, that's good. Um, in between episodes, I'll probably go back to my base, um, make the prawn suit depth module, and then uh, come back here to this spot, and we'll explore the lava zone next. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this episode. If you liked it, make sure to like the video. And of course, if you haven't already, subscribe. Uh, turn on notifications and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, thank you for your support. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.